Ovarian cancer is among the top causes of cancer death in women. Despite this sobering fact, there's a segment of the survivor community who are long-term survivors. What is their secret? What are the reasons for their seemingly impossible survival given the grim mortality statistics? We want all survivors, as well as their family and friends, to know that serious research is ongoing to find out what makes some women survive ovarian cancer long-term and to help ovarian cancer survivors in obtaining the support for a good quality survivorship. The Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center is leading a consortium of eight scientific institutions and 11 advocate partner organizations in conducting this groundbreaking study. The Ovarian Cancer Consortium for Long-Term Survival has established partnerships that will provide researchers with unprecedented access to a network of genetic, quality of life, and healthcare information about long-term survivors of ovarian cancer. With the help of long-term ovarian cancer survivors, we want to better define five aspects of this condition. First, the ability of their tumor cells to grow and survive even after surgery. Second, the mechanisms these tumors use to grow their own blood supply channels. Third, how these cancers interact and invade surrounding structures. Fourth, how survivors coped with their cancer in the past and in the present. And finally, what their quality of life is like now compared to how it was at different points in their cancer journey. The Department of Defense is providing funding to support the preliminary research into these five questions. But to validate our data, we will need to enroll survivors from across all national and international communities to cover all possible epidemiologic, psychosocial, and healthcare diversities that may influence survival and survivorship from advanced stage ovarian cancer. We are asking for your support for this diverse outreach. Precisely, we need funding to one, help international foundations to connect us with long-term survivors. And two, establish local efforts that will reach diverse communities in the United States and connect with survivors to, A, understand the survival rate and survivor's quality of life among all groups, and B, determine the social and healthcare support needed to improve survival and survivorship. Indeed, while the Center for Disease Control and Prevention shows that incidence of ovarian cancer is very similar across the different ethnic groups in the United States. Our current study structure has very limited capacity for diversity outreach, which prevents collection of representative data. It is imperative that this barrier be overcome in order to give all women the opportunity to become long-term ovarian cancer survivors. We are asking for seed money to initiate this outreach. Initial funding of $40,000 will help us collect tumor tissues, and related clinical data around the world, as well as piloting a community outreach in Massachusetts. Once we have demonstrated a successful model, we will be able to rapidly expand this outreach to multiple communities with additional funding. Please join us as we work towards a better understanding of this devastating disease and help us improve the health outcomes and quality of life for all ovarian cancer patients. Thank you.